this is what I'm going to be showing you how to build an entire mountain range with just a single command block. Here's how it works. The command block actually didn't make this. I made this like with digital doodling. I have this feather in the first slot of my inventory and all I have to do is switch to it and then I can paint whatever type of mountain range or hill range or really whatever I want. You can make big areas like this no problem. Before we get into today's video, I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys who are subscribed and if you're not subscribed please consider hitting that big old sub button and turning on notifications also you can become a YouTube member which gives you access to my very own survival multiplayer server that is a Java server sorry for those of you who are on bedrock so please click that join button to learn more because there's a whole bunch of different levels when it comes to becoming a YouTube member so here we are inside of Minecraft how does this actually work I even have some trees up there what's going on so right here I have sort of a template of what will the brush become whenever I use this feather to paint the mountain a few prerequisites is that you do have to be on the Java version of Minecraft so far as uh, I know pretty I, you know what this might be bedrock too I haven't tested it but you do need to have access to commands so you need to be in creative and also have your cheats enabled to be able to use the commands get command blocks and and do all that fancy stuff but if you have that this is definitely a super easy way to build big areas who I mean like I can't imagine placing this all block by block it's so much easier to use this technique so using this as a template this command block right here and as I said just a single command block this is running a command big thanks to CDs 28 R for creating this I I did not create this they created it over on reddit so huge thank you to you for making this and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to pull this off and it's pretty simple and also very uh, expandable customizable changeable you can do all sorts of stuff with it so we are gonna create another mountain range and just to show you just how dynamic this can be it doesn't need to be the blocks that I'm using here uh, well let's make a nether mountain range how about that my original template was seven blocks by seven blocks by seven blocks we don't need to stick to that we can make a smaller brush size if you will so let's make something that's only five by five to start off I'm just going to put down the five blocks that I need to start put it out in a different direction and then I guess I well wait a second I went way too many because I already had one there and then I'll go up actually one two that's three because there's already there four five and I'm gonna use the fill command just so I don't have to place all these blocks fill command is super simple you're going to use two coordinates your starting coordinate your ending coordinate and the command will fill in the blocks in between in a diagonal and we want nether rack which is way here at the bottom so we're just gonna tap complete hit enter and it will fill all all of that for us we're gonna use this command later on just to grab some coordinates because all you have to do is open up your chat start typing fill on so I just hit the F key and then I hit tab it'll auto complete there and then we hit space and we can tab again and we get the coordinate of the block that we are looking at I hit enter and then it, the command fails but that means that it is now in my chat history so all I have to do is click the up arrow to get it back move to the next location click the up arrow again then do that same tab complete and you'll notice that the coordinates are different you have the space you have the starting and ending coordinates uh, to fill whatever you want and that's when you you type in whatever block you want we're actually gonna be using this command later on to get the coordinates of this once again now you want your brush to be a little bit more organic than just a cube you could make it a cube if you wanted but if you break down the sides to sort of make it a little bit more round it'll look a lot more natural as you paste it in a whole bunch of times and also imagine that this is going to be something in the world it'll probably have a different grass type block on the top so I'm gonna use this uh, another court wart block to add in some blocks along the top just to give it sort of a different feel I'm getting some getting some vibes of the nether update we are only in 1.15 so we don't have the nether update uh, at the moment but this is giving me them vibes maybe also this biome this land has some soul sand mixed in we can easily add that we could even break inside of here so if you ever come across it later on you also have some soul sand inside of there 
just give this some type of dynamic look. There we go, our brush is finished. This is what will be pasted over and over and over again. Now we need to give ourselves a command block, and that's very simple. You can just give your player, or if for some reason you just wanna like copy this command exactly, you can do at P for the player, and we're going to give ourselves a command block. This is the only command block that you will need. You can place it down anywhere. It does not need to be near this template brush. Go ahead and open that up, and then paste the command from the description down below. Luckily, I don't have to type all that because it's a long one. Uh, let me just kind of show you what's going on. Execute as A with the game and the inventory and slot and feather and all these, ooh, all these things. Oh my gosh. You'll notice that at the very end of the command, it starts to turn red. It turns red right here at XYZ UVW. And that is because it needs us to input our brush. It needs us to add the coordinates of where this is going to be cloning from. Just a brief summary of what's going on is this command is searching for you to have a feather in your in the first slot of your inventory. If you do and you have that selected and your, your hand is on it basically, then it will clone what it's looking for in front of you in the direction that you are looking. So that is happening over and over and over again. And just so we don't have any weird compatibility issues. I'm just going to go ahead and break this command block over here just so that that one doesn't take priority over this one over here. Like I mentioned, we have these coordinates that we need to fill in. So we're going to use the fill command again. Or if you made sure not to build outside of what you did the first time you did the fill command, if you did the fill command, you could just use that. But just as a refresher, put down a block in the corner. It does need to be a block. We're going to use this fill command to grab that first coordinate. We're going to hit enter. I'm going to break that block because I do not want that cloned over and over and over again then i'm going to put a block in the corner again use that fill command once again and i don't even have to hit enter all i have to do is make sure to grab that command so i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to cut so that's control x and it'll cut that command away i'm going to break that block because we don't want that cloned i'm going to jump over here into my command block and we're going to delete all of this and using the keyboard command of control v to paste then we are going to paste it so you can see that it's going to clone those blocks right there in an area away from me in the direction that I am looking. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done just to lock that in. Now we need to make sure that this is running all the time. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change this button down here to repeat and always active. It'll change the color of the command block and the command will be running over and over and over again. We're just gonna hit done. I've turned off command block output in the game rules. So I'm gonna switch that back on so that you can actually see what is going on. You can see that it's the second option here and we're gonna set this to true and we're gonna just hit enter so that that is, uh, is stuck. I'm also gonna delete all of my inventory and look for a feather because that is what we need to activate the command. Putting it in that first slot, like I mentioned, it needs to be in slot number one. And then the moment that we hover over that feather with our hot tray down there, Whoop, there we go. Now we are building. And you can also see in the chat, it will it just kind of goes crazy with successfully cloned blocks. That is because I turned the command block output to true. So if we go and change that to false, hit enter. Now when we do this again, it will not send all of those commands into, uh, into <laughs> our chat room, which is uh, very good. As you can see, this is working really, really perfectly. And I, I actually like the smaller brush size. It kind of allows me to paint a little bit easier, but this will just float wherever. So if you want to just kind of go crazy, if you want to stop and then create a floating circle here, you can do that too. It happens just like a distance away from you. So there's no need to make sure that it's connected to any other part of the build. Also, because this is cloning live, we can change this to something else. So let's say we don't like the look of what we have so far. I'm gonna make it kind of obvious by adding some lapis here. So I'm just gonna add lapis, whoops, didn't mean to open my inventory, in all of the corners and then switch back to cloning. And now you can see that there's lapis inside of my build. So if for whatever reason you wanna change it live, you can do that. Also, you could add some type of like bush or you know entity that's kind of like a decoration. Now you should be wary whenever adding plants because whenever you sort of go sideways, it, it 
it's weird. Let me just show you what I mean. Is that like, if I'm putting these down, it's it's like constantly destroying them. You can pull that off if you want. Like I, I used it for those birch trees, but I found that if you start like, you should probably basically start directly above you and then go up to where you want or know exactly where you want them to be. Or you can always just go in by hand later and place little extra details like that. You don't have to use this copy fill command thing in order to pull it off. But also this is just like a really, really great way to build super fast. Like if you know that this is what is going to be cloned every single time that you build it, you can really get some quick builds done as long as you have access to commands and access to the, uh, you know, access to creative and all that. So right here, I've made this sort of like weird mushroom thing and it can sort of work like a bridge. And once we get it started here to the right level, I can just sort of move on like this and it creates like this weird platform situation for us. It looks really cool. I mean, that was so simple to build seconds, just seconds. And I didn't have to place down a single block. Well, I guess I placed down those blocks, but as you can see, it makes creative building so fast. To still that same five by five area. And now I can make sort of like these weird, I mean, this is, this looks like this is how the nether was made. Like that, that is the actual nether the floating there. That that's kind of weird. Also this command ignores air. So I just have that single bit of quartz just floating there and I can build with just a little bit of quartz. Basically you can see that it is not deleting all of the things around it just because we have air in our brush area. It's not immediately filling the area with air. It is just filling whatever block is there. So we can get some detailed stuff with just a single block if that is what we want to pull off. I'm gonna be straight up honest. I'm not even sure what's gonna happen here. This, this could be a real, real bad idea, okay? <laughs> Let's test it out. Oh yeah, oh, this is great. Uh, I'm gonna avoid doing that with lava, but that works too. It does not work with entities, so I have these uh, little puffer fish inside of there and it will not copy the puffer fish, which is probably a good thing. And there you have it. If creative building wasn't easy enough for you, a new way to make creative building super fast and super amazing. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And a huge thank you to our YouTube members. You guys rock. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next episode of OMG Craft. Bye!